Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to an episode that, let's face it, will make the muggers fear you. That's right, that if you, like me, carry a one pack and an arm that makes it seem like you've done one press up in your entire life, then this episode is for you. I went to see my self-defense teacher. It, it was quite a unique experience seeing him in such a vulnerable situation because I mean, he's the sort of guy when we're practicing, he comes and he slaps you. Oh, uh, hello, I don't know my own strength. Shake it off. Blow. Don't think about the pain, don't think about the pain. He's the type that you know when you got your guard up, yeah? He comes and you know, he slaps it to make sure that your guard is solid. Me, I'm I'm fairly, you know, fair skinned. So when he gives me like one slap, it takes like 30 minutes for the redness to disappear. Mashallah, he's a strong guy. Even when he's, you know, trying something on you, it's game over. Yeah, and he... <laughs> So to see him in such a vulnerable position, he had sciatica, it really got me thinking that you know how fragile human beings are and how vulnerable we can be. But as I went to see him, he had an idea for a video. If you're pregnant, yeah, if you're disabled, if you're you know, if you're a simple guy, a weak person, or even if you're you know overweight and you can't escape the situation. In a situation, if you're a vulnerable situation like me now, yeah. So you cannot use a whole massive power, so you have a supporting power. So this is a, a key tag or key chain. Anything you, you have a, 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 on the key chain, you got this is anything you buy, such as edge, sub edge. You can use the hammer fist. Uh, you can use uh, to the upper part of the body, lower shoulder, the temples, the face, padlock. You can use, this is a key, this is a short range. The long range purpose, you can use this. Yeah, could make a good grip. Imagine this is led to your head, your any part of the bony part, even if any body part is very, very, very painful. But make sure that if you're using this, make, don't make it too long because it can bounce back. So you can make it shorter, but still can long, long range, you can use it. Once you got this one, you have to have the aggression person you don't let the person to know what you're doing it yeah it's just up and down anyway any more if you're using the pen this is one grip if you're using the hammer fist so you can use the x one two one two three see? low growing when it's sitting position you can use it you don't even need to stand up Good grip, now same weapon now, again. See, this is long range, this is, imagine this hits in your body part, yeah? Next, parking. You can straight away in from the pocket, put it between your finger, put against your thumb, and give a good grip. That's it, now you have a good weapon in your hand, aggression there, and keep punching straight until the attack stops. You can go straight punch, you can go hook, you can go hook punches, you can go groin, you can go knee. Again, party with a handkerchief. Put, me the, put the keys in the middle of the handkerchief. Roll up and then make knuckle here. Huh. So rather than you punch it twice, you need a one punch. Let's say a sister, oh brother, you are in the bus and you are reading a book. And you see this dangerous situation approaching. You are rolling the book tight as possible and have a good grip in your hand. And you see this, how strong is the example here? You can see that by sound and I can see that they're safe. Yeah, consistently attack until the person go away and keep distance and call for help. So you have this thick book here. Imagine you, you're sitting position or whatever you're coming from standing, you're coming closer to me. Your book goes very fast. It's like a colliding together, making sure that I hit harder. Hit harder and get the, your palm into to the book. Yeah, and hit. You can feel that I didn't hit it, but if you hit it, you, went, you will see that. Yeah? After watching this video, you'll be more conscious 
and aware that you might even carry one or two extra things with you, especially if you're going at night time or down a dark alley. I don't know why you'd be doing that frankly. Yeah. Of course, like Sensei said, it's always good to be aware. And number three, body mechanics. Yeah, you guys can see even the way he's swinging it, where you're generating your energy from, how you're swinging and you know even repetition, muscle memory. This can only be learnt and taught in classes and you guys really do need to practice this sort of stuff. So don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel, uh, go to his website, see what classes he's doing at the moment. Obviously now he's out of action but when he does make sure you email and, uh, and get your kids involved and get involved yourself as well. He does come and do sessions for families as well so if you know modesty and all that is an issue you know what I'm saying let's let's make it happen. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum. See you soon.